500,000 leaked messages between Mr. Beast, his partner, uh, like his, his friend Chris that's in his group or whatever, and, and underage kids, guys. Like, I've been seeing this all over social media, and I have reacted to Mr. Beast videos here on the channel, and I was very interested to see exactly what is going on, because it seems like a lot of streamers or content creators, people are getting exposed lately for talking to underage people, which we do not condone here at all on the channel. No matter who you are, what your stature is, or anything, let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below, and please follow all the links that will be in the description down below as well, and make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Of course, with notifications turned on and i appreciate you guys for the continued support and we're gonna dive right into this mr beast craziness let's get it but i'm more so we better get cracking uh oh here we go here okay, we go let's jump into the first story of the day because ava chris oh, tyson that's what, what it is but the ava tyson ava whatever the hell name is situation keeps on getting worse. Because just last night, thousands upon thousands of private messages from what's claimed this to be crazy, Chris's bro. Discord server were leaked. And the person who leaked them on Twitter said, it's up to 500,000. Oh, dog, dog days are coming. <laughs> Now, the leak came from Nathan, who says that his friend was a moderator in the server, and he, Nathan was in there too, along with most others in there, were said to be minors, at least according to Nathan. And actually, some messages in there. I just don't see how Nathan. grown men talk to that's minors, kind of bro, or even get turned on by the idea of possibly being able to. It does make it I don't even like talking to people that's like about that. 20, anyway, 21, bro. I'm 30. All the proof in it, all the receipts, and all the screenshots. Thanks to an old friend of mine who was a moderator. This TikTok probably went insanely viral. Now, Cookie actually went ahead and downloaded logs of all the individual channels on Chris's server before it went public, knowing that this was kind of being covered up, and he kept the logs of it for himself. Now, because of the sheer scope and wow, size so of this, been playing this. This happened a long time ago. Way through it, which, thinking about it, in its own right, <coughs> quite a. <laughs> A horrifying job to have to read all of this. Not only because of the stuff that they talk about, allegedly, uh, but also just imagine how many of those 500,000 messages are actually just irrelevant and are just shit talk. Huh. But regardless, we're already getting lots surfacing on Twitter and geez, they're pretty wild. Now, just for the sake of efficiency, speed, and legal reasons, uh, <laughs> although I feel like Chris has enough legal things to worry about right now. <laughs> okay. That was a joke. Um, <laughs> let's read the, I, I read the disclaimer anyway, it must right be here. Said, Everything that I'm about to read you is alleged. We don't know for sure if this is even Chris's server. Okay, guys? Now let's read it. User Discount Milk puts a picture in the chat with Chris the Meme God responding, She's only 14? Damn. Another then says, uh, If she's 14, I'm 14. Chris puts a link wow. to chat.com. If she's 14, I'm 14. Video, that is a crazy uh, is ass statement to make, y'all. That is known what? to create CP. Okay? It's really genuinely, and this is not even funny, horror, horrifying what? stuff. Chris then refers to himself as Lolly God. And I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't know what Lolly was until I made this video. And I'm not going to put it in here because it will get the whole thing demonetized. Although, <laughs> let's be honest, it's probably getting it demonetized anyway. When the user started talking about a not safe for work channel in their server, Chris the Meme God says, should gore be allowed in the NSFW or should it only be P.O.R.? And I'm not going to finish that. Then when they started wow. talking about removing the channel, Brooke the Mom says, I don't have any issue with the channel. What I have an issue with are the minors that have access to said channel. So indicating that, yes, as we said before, there are minors in this thing, allegedly. Chris says, is there even a way to do that? Discount milk. No, not really. No. Chris the Meme God. So what do we do, lol? Remove it? Nathan. No, people like it. Even if there was a way, anyone can lie about their age. Chris the Meme God. Yeah, true. And I mean, to be fair, the internet is full of... Corn casserole. <laughs> Discount milk. Discord says, if you can't regulate it, you shouldn't have one. Referring to Discord. It is the responsibility of the server owner to prevent miners from viewing corn casserole 
materials. Chris the Meme God, what am I, a parent? Lava says, I say we get rid of it because the fan base of Beast and Chris are mostly under 18. So even people in there that are minors probably true. recognize it's probably is a lot of kids it's that not watch appropriate. Them. Now after this, not I mean, they got channel millions on top of millions that watch every single video. Says, so. What happened to the channel? Broke the mom, it was removed because there are minors in this server and that content is highly inappropriate for minors. Zeg says it's inappropriate for adults too. So I don't even want to know what? what was in there. This picture was put in there reading. The PlayStation 2 is 17 years old today with a retweet that reads, one more year until I can finally, you know what, my PS2. To which Chris responds, I like my PlayStations around 13 years old. Okay, um, I think we get the point. <laughs> they talk kind of crazy, look at I ain't gonna lie. Yourself, but that's just the general feeling. Like it's not funny, but damn, right bro. I mean, even if the majority of these are jokes, some weird shit. people are Changing rightfully yourself pointing out that even and if talking they are jokes, to all uh, they're one? made in servers where they're full of people under the age of 18. Now, of course, being best friends with Chris, Mr. Beast is also being dragged into this yet again, but thankfully, so far, no one has really brought up anything that is, you know, majorly compromising yet, hopefully not ever. And I say thankfully because could you just imagine the chaos that would ensue if compromising shit was found on Mr. Beast? The entire right. internet would go crazy. But in saying that, these leaks at the very least may show evidence that he was in this Discord server, so at least partially maybe aware of what was going on, which was the main question yeah. in our last which video. Still isn't so okay in this server, the they're the day, talking though. about Chris's corn casserole, which I mean, just why Bruh. in the first place? Anyway. And and with the with the messages, because I've seen some of the messages online, actually, and with him talking about himself like this, like, come on, bro. Come on. We know we know it's not like that. No diddy. Like, like, we, like it, it can't be this great. Like, like, you're going to minors talking about it. You can't be that confident in yourself, bro, and be talking about yourself like that. Especially when you just changed your hey, complete uh, discount gender. milk. Who is apparently a minor like that's, at the that's time? Just crazy says to me, his corn casserole. I don't like this isn't weird time that we live in, here, bro. Know. This shit is then weird. Mr. Beast comes These in. People are no, weird as hell. I know his corn casserole size, and it's huge. Discount milk. Remember, minor discount milk. I. I'm not even gonna read that. Alex put it yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, they, they went crazy. Chris, uh, God. like, bro, Mr. what? Beast joins to Yo! My size. I love it. And then just to further indicate that Mr. Beast may have been in this server. Lol, Jimmy just chilling in electric music. Chris, nah, he's chilling with me. Can't believe Beast forgot to connect. He does this all the time. That's why I moved him to private. He's just chilling, chilling in general voice chat now. So yeah, um. <laughs> Not ideal. But let's also I just put the other side out there. We all know that Jimmy is one of the most busy and obsessed creators out there. So how much time he would actually have to partake in stuff like this, let's be honest, is unknown. And let's let's speculate. Not much. And then also back to the Chris of this, side of things, an account, I think, uh, ST West. I think that a lot of this happened in the beginning, in the beginning, like like before Mr. Beast was who Mr. Beast is type stuff. Which, At least that's what I was saying. If you cross reference with Mr. Beast Wikipedia, which this is a wild thing that that even exists, but it does. It appears to be Chris's older sister, Sarah Tyson, which is now married, which is why her uh, name is Sarah Westbrook. Anyway, she tweeted, I'm his sibling, referring to Chris. He, and yes, I used the correct pronouns, told me that he got fully aroused when he secretly stole my female clothes and put them on. He is deluded and disturbed, and it's 100% a fetish. Absolutely He's narcissistic, disgusting. and professionals have told him he needs a full psych evaluation. Yeah. I'm so, sorry, like, So far, I'm just... not looking good. And I mean, this has just been one day since all of this has leaked, so I'm sure that we haven't seen the end to this story. But when more gets surfaced, and I am not looking through the 500,000 myself, I'll keep you updated. Okay. Right, right. It's just a lot going on in that whole situation, man. I don't condone none of that stuff at all. I don't fuck with none of that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. It's been a lot of this stuff happening everywhere. So it's been pretty crazy, man. But hey, I'm going to get up out of here. And I appreciate you guys for watching the video, man. Please follow all the links in the description down below. And thank you for all the continued support. That does it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one, baby. We are out. Peace.